Hey guys, and welcome to an eye tutorials tutorial. <laughs> Here I'll teach you how to change your eye color in Photoshop. Basically, you want to find a picture of yourself that shows your eye fairly well, for both eyes, so you could um, they could uh, show it good. Basically, I'm just using a picture of Hillary Duff. Just go file and open it up in your picture file or wherever you save your picture. And if you don't have a good picture of yourself right now, just use a picture of a celebrity if you still want to try it out. I'm using Photoshop CS3. But I'm pretty sure this might work with other versions too, like Photoshop elements. Alright, basically, you get a picture in, just like that, um, center, wh whatever you want to do with it. And then, um, I'm just going to go up, down, and click the zoom tool, and zoom in towards her eye. Okay, so you zoom in towards your person's eye, or your eye, whatever, to get a better look at it. Okay. Once you've done that, go over there and touch the brush tool. And... Basically, basically, you want to press Q on your keyboard and to color it in. Um, it should be coloring it in. One second, let me change my brush preset here. It's all right. When you color it in, it should be coloring in red. So don't if it's coloring in red, that then you're doing it right. Okay. So once it's doing that, um, you, you could just do the whole pupil, or you could just do the whole eye with the white. I'm gonna color in the whole eye with the white. I don't know why, but that's just the way I learned how to do it. So you can just do the pupil, makes it easier, but for you, whatever, just color in the whole eye with the white or the pupil, because it's just, um, for now, just color in the whole eye with the white. So I can show you what I do with this, okay? But after you know how to do this, you can, to make it shortcuts, you don't have to color in the whole white. But for now, just do it. Right? Um, basically, you could, you should color your other eye in too, but since hers is being covered, I'm not going to do that. But if you, of course, you should color in both eyes, so when you change the color, it will look exactly the same. Um, so that's what you want to do, because it would be easier, but since her, her eyes are showing, not showing, I'm not going to do that. But if you did, I would just color in the eye like that, like so, and then do what I'm about to tell you to do next. Okay? So basically now you just want to press Q on your keyboard again, and it, 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 it like makes a little dotted line around the eye, selects it. And click the selection tool, the marquee tool, right up here, and bring it over, and right click your eye and click select inverse, okay, select inverse, and then just like that, it looks exactly the same, but it really did something different. And now what you want to do is, you want to do uh, layer via copy, right click and do layer via copy, and basically what that does is it puts a layer just of the eye, tip how to get your layers like that. Go there. Okay, now what you want to do is you want to uncheck the eye so it just shows the eye of the background picture. It just shows the um, the layer. Take the eraser tool. And one second, let me change the preset again. Circle. Okay. And erase all the white. Now here's where it comes in where you don't have to do this if you just selected the pupil. This just makes it, takes a little bit longer, but I guess, I don't know why I like doing it to make the eye a little bit more perfect around if you messed up or something. Like around circling, you can make it a little more curved and stuff. If you mess up brushing it, coloring it in, right? So once you have the pupil, if you had two eyes and you did both of them, you'd erase both eyes at the same time. After done that one, do the other one. I mean, and go up here and click adjustments, image adjustments, and then do color balance. And you just do the settings to your liking. I'm gonna make her eye a nice blue color. So you can just do them to your liking. Doesn't matter what color you do, whatever you want to do. Okay, it's a nice blue color. And basically you can go up here and do adjustments. Um, or hue and saturation. It doesn't matter. Either one of those two. Hue and saturation gives it a little bit different color. I'm gonna make it purple. Um, you can use color balance or hue and saturation. It doesn't really matter. But you choose to do. I'm just gonna use both. <laughs> so I'm gonna make it purple. Because that's I've always one of my to be purple. So yeah. So once I got that done, click back the background color. Uh click the eye back on the background. And you can see it, the purple eyes taking place, and it looks pretty good. It's pretty li realistic, if I'd say so myself. Then, um, basically, zoom out and take a look at your masterpiece. You just changed someone's eye color. Congratulations. Um, but this was kind of confusing. You can ask questions and stuff, so just send me a message or a comment. Now, to save the picture, you basically just go to File, Save As, and you save it as whatever you want to save it as. 
um, I recommend JPEG or GIF file. Um, point BMP doesn't matter. And I'm going to save it as a JPEG. Or you can save it as a Photoshop file so you can edit it later on or whatever. But if you want to put it on the internet or something, just put JPEG and then save it as whatever name you want. If you want to put it on the internet, it's most likely you should do, for better quality, save to web. And basically, what does it makes the quality way better? And you just click save and once the picture pops up, make sure, um, there you go. And you would basically choose the setting you want. You can put GIF, JPEG, whatever you want. And save and you can put it on your MySpace, whatever, and like your picture. It's pretty cool to do. Change your, changing your eye color. So yeah. Thanks for watching this tutorial, guys. And I hope this really helped you guys do it. Um, learn how to change someone's eye color. If it's a little bit confusing, please put in the comments what your problem is. And I'll be sure to answer them. You can send me a message too. And I really love requests. So this is my first tutorial again. So you can request a tutorial and stuff. Thanks for watching, guys. And see you later.